Once again, we are here for another lesson, Senior 5, Pure Math. Our topic is trigonometry. For those who may be seeing me for the first time, I'm teacher Agawa Kosma, a teacher of physics and mathematics. In our previous lesson, we were looking at the signs of the trigonometrical ratios in the different quadrants, the first, second, third, and fourth. And from the simple activity that I left you with, even from some responses, we are able to find out this. We were able to find out that if These are my quadrants. This is the first, second, third, and fourth. We realize that the different trigonometrical ratios of the sine, cosine, and the tangent, all of them were positive here. So, in this one, all of them were positive. And we realize that in the second quadrant, only the sign was positive. In the third, only the tan was positive. And in the fourth, only the cosine was positive. Meaning the tan here and the sign are negative. Here, all are positive. The sine, cosine, and the tangent. Here, the cosine and the tangent are negative, and here, the sine and the cosine are negative. On return, is positive. And this is very, very important. And it is going to help us a lot. And then, we are going to do sort of some calculations in this. And the following is also going to head a pass. When you are solving, there is what we shall be calling the key angle. The key, key angle. In another language, it can be called the principal. Many people like calling it principal. But me, I have a reason why I call it principal. Because I don't want you to confuse it with this one. So, this one I call it principal. This one I call it principal. So, we call it the principal angle. So, which angle is that? I will expound more as we start doing calculations. But it is an equivalent angle in the quadrant. In the first quadrant, any angle anywhere can have its equivalent in the first whether it was from the second, third, or fourth, it will have an equivalent. And therefore, we are noting, we are noting that not if theta is yes, I am saying that if theta is an angle in the first quadrant. The one you have called the principal angle or the key angle. The angle in the second quadrant is given by 180 minus theta. The angle in the third is given by 180 plus theta. And in the fourth, by 360 minus theta. I.e., this is what I am meaning. This is our angle. In the first quadrant here, we are saying this angle is theta. Which angle is equivalent to theta in this quadrant? So, this is the theta that I'm talking about. So, how do we get this angle? We move from here. And you can see it clearly that this angle, this one, is actually 180 minus theta degrees. Then, now there is now in the third quadrant, 
if this is our theta again so how big is this angle remember we said we measure our angles from the positive x axis and we take the anticlockwise direction this angle will be now this one and you know it very well that from here to here is 180 then this is theta therefore the whole of this is 180 plus theta degrees that's our angle this is what I'm talking about that's what brings up that one and then we are saying if it is in the fourth quadrant the angle is here so you have to move the whole of this in this direction like this like this and up to that point and you see if I moved from here to here it will be 360 okay so to simplify this one from here up to here is 360 then I subtract this so this is 360 degrees minus theta that's what I actually mean it so now of what importance is this to us the knowledge of this is used in solving trigonometrical equations and we can have examples solving trigonometrical equations e.g. solve the following equations solve the following equations for theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive and we shall just have a few one three cos theta plus two equals zero we shall have four cos squared theta minus one equals zero we shall have cos theta plus two equals zero we can solve these ones and then after solving them we can convince ourselves that we are now good to go on the journey with trigonometry let's see a case in point number one the very first one one three cos theta plus two equals zero this is simple three cos theta plus 2 equals 0 it is as simple as I can take to the other side so I have 3 cos theta equals negative 2 when these two crosses here it becomes negative then I can divide by 3 both sides so I get cos theta equals minus 2 out of 3 then when I reach at this point that's where the word principal angle comes in I first forget as if I didn't have this negative I get the cos inverse of only this one so this negative is only to help me know where this angle is because the cos of theta is negative so I am sure it is in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant so let's take the principal angle so therefore, our theta is cos inverse of 2 out of 3. So what is cos inverse of 2 out of 3 if you would check from your calculator? From my calculator, I get theta as 48.2 degrees. Always you can round off to one more, one this small press. So how can I show this one? I just draw this. Just draw this. Now remember, this theta is not in the first quadrant because the cos is negative. Remember, 
Remember, the all are positive in the first quadrant. So, the cos is negative. Meaning, this angle cannot be here and cannot be there. So, it will be in the second and the third quadrants. So, let's get it there. So, this is our angle. 40. 8.2 and then this is where it is also 48.2 so then what is our angle now this is what we shall do so our values of theta are get 180 subtract this 180 then you subtract 48.2 you will get maybe I put it there and my calculator gives me 131.8 where is the second the second you have to move the whole of this up to here which we said from here to here is 180 then you add this so what is 180 plus 48.2 degrees my calculator gives me 228.2 degrees the, the two are the values of theta remember we are given a range we are given that our theta varies from 0 to 360 degrees. We would have continued rotating and get more angles. We shall see these ones as we proceed with the rest of the work. Let's do Roman 2. Let's do Roman 2. 4 cos squared theta minus 1 equals 0. So I can take one the other side. So it gives me four cos. And I can write by four. And this will give me cos squared theta equals one out of four. What do I do next? I take the square root, both sides. So cos theta equals the square root of 1 over 4. What does it give us? Cos theta is the square root of 1 over 4. So what is cos theta? Cos theta equals plus or minus a half. Remember whenever you take the square root of any number, it will give you a plus or a minus. So, we can first treat that if cos theta is a half, then what is theta? You can see that the cos is in the is positive, meaning this angle is in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So what is our theta? The cos inverse of a half. That is our principal angle, which happens to be also in the same range. So, theta equals 60 degrees. When you press on the calculator, you will get the cos inverse of a half as 60 degrees. In, in which quadrants? So, remember our, our acronym that all are positive here. Only sign is positive. So, meaning the first angle is here. And on the cosine is again positive here. So, another angle is there. So, what is our theta then? Our theta is this one, which is 60 degrees. And then, when you move up to here, which is 360 minus 60 degrees, which is 3. 100 degrees 
That was for the case when cos theta was a half. There is another case when cos theta is negative a half. We still find the same principal angle. The same principal angle is still 60 degrees, the cos inverse of a half. But now in which quadrants? When cos is negative, in the second and in the third. So this is our angle. This so one is here. This is 60 degrees. Then another one is there. 60 degrees. So which angles are they then? There's this one, which is 180 minus 60 degrees. Those are our values of theta. Okay? So this one is 180. Then when you subtract a 60, you get 120 degrees. And then this one is the whole of this, which is 180 plus 60 degrees, which gives 240 degrees. So how many values of theta do we have then? Theta has all these values. 60 degrees, 300 degrees, 120 degrees, and 240 degrees. And when we check our range, all those answers are still within the range from 0 to 360 degrees. This is trigonometry. This is how we do it. I say it. All ratios are positive in the first. On the sign is positive in the second, in the third, on the third, in the fourth, on the cosine. And some people take it as all scientists take chemistry so that they can be able to remember it. Others, when they use the other opposite direction, they can get other words like acts and some other things. But I, I, I encourage you to always follow all scientists take chemistry. Then we have saying, when we sort of we shall be having an angle that we call the principal angle. The angle that is in the first quadrant but can have equivalence in any other quadrant. We were able to know that if the angle is the second quadrant, it will be 180 minus that. In the third, 180 plus that. And in the fourth, 360 minus that. Then we have sort of some problems, some equations here using that concept and following step by step. Now, there is this one. I am requesting you to do this one. Please write it, do it. Then after doing it, you can send it to us. We are just here. We are back. Yes, we are back. BSc, Bath Science Education Consultants, at your service. We do a lot, just consult us, anything academic, counseling, Zoom lessons, whichever issue is academic and needs help, as long as it is scientific, we are able to help you get out of that one. That is it for now. We meet some other time.